talk about Tumult Persona 1. So last time we, um, well I beat Pandora and then I made a video talking about the highest level personas in the game. So yeah, that was a lot of fun to make. But anyway, we are going to be doing the Makake roads. And I decided to make a lot of preparations. Also, can I even heal it? I just realized I think I could heal also. Because um, Magic could use a little bit of an SP boost. But anyway, I decided to take like a small break from recording since I beat Pandora. This allowed me some chance to also grind. So Rad's 87. I think pretty much everyone like gained 10 levels or so. So yeah. So yeah, I'm 87. Lucky is 81. Nadja is 69, 72. Mark is 66, 68. And Reiji is 68, 69. So yeah. If this is not enough, I'm gonna be very worried. <laughs> but anyway. So, so I start with Kalinda. With a nice bright judgment now. Uh, I use Satan a lot during the grind because he's amazing. I really like Satan in this game because he has Bright Judgment and Dark Verdict. Maggie Dolan's also quite nice. He's just like really versatile, which is why I really like him. And yeah, you're probably gonna be seeing me use him a bit for the fights and yeah. Um. So Marco gave a Hanuman just cause. With Morandi dying and Magara dying, he'll be pretty decent I think. For some random cards. Here's a new persona, Fuede Nagan. He is a very high level power effect persona. You need a totem from the casino to use him. But he is really nice. He has Rakunda. I really like Arrow Volley. This proved to be a very nice physical attack. And then he has also has Magnetime thanks to Fusion Ended. And Makara Khan's also nice. And probably Badandi, who's gonna be like my only healer. Anyway, Nancho. I gave him Succubus. Um, they like Lilum, but they learn some different skills basically. The important one though is Makara Cod. Yeah, you gotta know it's a big trend. Also, I guess Luna Trap. Um, I also give him a Zeodyne because if you use Grimies with her, you can. As one of the recipes, you can get the Zeodyne, which is nice. Could also be nice to remember from Lilum. I've used a new. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, Ishtar. Who has Arrow Volley, which is very nice. We might see her a little bit too. Depends on uh, how good her attacks like us are. Then for Mark, I fused him a new Saiyan Taisei, this time I'm Rami Dime. He stars Ball, who's really good because he has Bright Judgment. And then Suzaku, this is a new persona. Um, I gave them the Garadine. This is a weird fusion, it's actually an orange Abara fusion for that one. He also has Meraki Dine, so he's not too bad. He also has Lift Doma, but the, mo the most important thing about using Suzaku is that he has 99 agility, which is important. And then finally, Reiji. I'm actually having him use Nyala Futa. I actually don't really like what he looks like when Reiji looks. He's like, it has kind of cool looking attack animations, but yeah. He has Mazio Dine. He's basically only like super good against physical attacks, but eh, it can be useful. And then he still has Mott, and he still has Loki, so he has all the thought based personas. So yeah, that will do. So yeah. Let's go to the Kage Runes. Because it starts getting interesting at the 8th floor, like the um, ending told us, um, that's probably when I'm going to. Um, that's probably when I'm going to, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Let's turn off my S domains. Oh yeah, I should also mention, I stuck, I stock up on a lot of items on the trip as well. Like, yeah, you see that? 99 <laughs> magical guards, that's a poor. 99 core shields, I don't know why, but. <laughs> 99 choke souls. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty well equipped. Also, yeah, 9, 98 clean soul, 98 clean soul, let's see, I'm pretty well I want to have another look at my persona as well. But yeah, one thing I was thinking of doing was maybe getting around this top of Gembu. Which I might actually do, because Gembu is a marker card shop. That's useful. Although yeah, Ishtar is pretty cool. Especially because yeah, I could use it to get Lucifer if I really want. Because yeah, Lucifer needs the Morning Star, which Ishtar drops. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it around. But yeah, I have some other personas. 
Do I have any other persons? I guess I have Lakshmi who's still rank 3 because I don't think she's that useful. But yeah, I think I just showed up all the new persons I've used in my party. Technically, Rohan could probably make use of some new personas, but... Um... I think he's fine the way he is. I think one other thing too, if I do fuse any person, it's gonna start at low rank, so with all these dudes at the higher ranks, it's probably gonna be better. But anyway. See, so yeah, I still have my, um, this Domara. Let's go into the conference. So yeah, I explored the place a little bit before. Because, um,. Okay, Newman, so you wanna um, use it again. But yeah, I have explored this place a little bit before because yeah, I wanna get zombie pain on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I don't get hit much of the extra packs. So, anyway. so, yeah, so that's why it's been filled in a little bit. But yeah, I haven't been that far in. So, yeah. But yeah, I love things happened while I was um, in between parts. There's one thing I would like to talk about, but I might see it for later. But anyway, just, you know, going through. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. So yeah, Rohan's level, and also Marquis, they can actually use Ildenar. I was considering that, but here's the thing. I need to get a Kof Luke and also get my own bar to max rank, which as you saw there, he wasn't. So. I thought that it wasn't worth the time and effort, and I was grinding a lot to begin with, so yeah. Anyway, we're stepping into Unknown now. <laughs> At least for this thing. And yeah, that's the wrong thing. Um, so go here, go here. Yeah, nothing much else to say, I'm just, you know, walking through here. But yeah, that's the thing with the auto personas, you may notice that a lot of them, um, they need an enemy that's, um, low leveled. That means that you can only get them in the Makage Ruins, which is annoying because the Makage Ruins... Um, finding one specific enemy can be painful because um, there's a lot more random encounters, so the probability of you finding what you need is lower. So that's why I didn't decide to go after the Karp Luke to try and get Ildana. Even though Ildana, like I said in, in yesterday's video, pretty good persona. Or <laughs> last year, should be saying. Oh, what's this? Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I got a little scared though for a second. But anyway, so yeah, let's just kill these things. Also, I have skip on, so let's turn it off. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna go for bright judgment on the Paimon. I'm gonna go for Maragi Dine. Yeah, I think I will. Um, Zio Dine. That actually, it's a bit risky. Yeah, I'll just shoot the Nancho. I think I gave him the Angel Whispers. I decided to return Armadi for that. I'll go for Heavenly Hit because why not? And I'll go for the Zero. I probably should have used the gun, but it's okay. Hey, yeah, there's Bright Judge again. So yeah, we we'll need to put up the, um... I need to put up the, um, Estoma again. But yeah, he does have the Angel Whispers because you know, they paralyze. They actually don't bind us. And yeah, we're seeing Nyala Bota. He isn't that good, but he's cool defensively, I guess. I think Amatsu Mikabushi is a lot better, but of course he's high leveled. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna show it. There you go, Angel Whispers. So you see there, four more attempts than the Dead Ends, but I kinda like the Dead Ends more because I like Stone a lot more as a stars. But anyway. So we have to go all the way down and use the. Um, Clean salt again. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure I have no personas with this dome anymore. The only thing I have is Lift Doma on Suzaku. Which might be useful, but again, I have 99 core shields, so I may not need them. So yeah, I'll just, you know, find my way through. I don't think I've been this low before. I haven't been to the last bit that the that gets unlocked. I know that for sure. Because I never got this high leveled in my first playthrough. I was actually very under leveled in my first playthrough compared to what I am now. My second playthrough is the PS1 version, which doesn't have this post game, which I guess is something important. I should mention. Is this a way out? I wonder. Let's see. 
It's probably a guy that checked this, these studs. Nah, that just leads us back. So let's um, use those stairs again. But yeah, in the PS1 version, like even, like, the Mikage Rizzo says, there's no Estoma in the original Persona 1, the PS1 version should be saying, so I feel like the Mikage Rizzo are kind of bad in that version, to be honest. That's because, yeah, there's no post-game to use a lot of, like, super overpowered Personas, so yeah. Anyway, just, you know, fumbling my way through her. Uh, the joys of exploring a dungeon that you have no idea where you're gonna go. Heh. <laughs> and yeah, my stomach's about to wear off too. Which is why I'm walking slowly. And there it goes. Actually, no, it's still up. <laughs> and there it goes. Right on cue. For a random encounter. But anyway. Grimey's is good. You know what? And also, I can show what it's like to talk to. So yeah, let's call this sender. Yeah, it talks to numbers. <laughs> but yeah, let's pontificate. Yeah, it's pontificate instead. So that means also in the cruising with it, it's kind of weird. And there you go. You get a spell card. Which, yeah, if I want to use some Hamatsu Mikabushi, I guess it's alright. Yeah, I need a wilder, like I said last episode, if I want to fuse it. Because, yeah, Hamatsu yeah, Mikabushi doesn't need a totem, so he'll be a lot easier to fuse. And also, no specific things. But yeah, I'm not so sure where to go in this place. Which is an issue. A skill issue, if you will, though, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I can look at my map. Uh, I need to go down. Because the stairs. So let's do that. So yeah, not much else to say, but yeah, I'm hope yeah, I'm just so hoping that I'm strong enough for this. Or at least I play smart enough that yeah. <laughs> because yeah. The post game, yeah, I don't know what to expect because, you know, first time doing it. Alright, base on full 7. We got some big pumps that don't lead anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have much to say, really. I guess I can talk about some other things on my mind. Like, yeah, there's that one topic that in, that's in my head, but I feel like it's more relevant to talk about it later. But yeah, I guess I should mention that if you didn't know already, I'm watching my brother play. Oh, Fenrir. Oh, it's actually higher level than me. Okay. So, right judgment. But yeah, anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's it. I'm currently playing um, Xenoblade. I'm not, not. I'm not the one playing. My brother is the one playing. Um, and I'm watching it play basically, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm not going to talk about it yet because I want to. The game's really new, and also I want to also wait for my brother to finish playing it too. Then I think it's better to talk about. But yeah, like I said, fun game so far. I can't wait to play it myself when I get the time. And yeah, actually there are some other things too that came to my team. And that was like, so far, all my playthroughs so far have been informative, I guess. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, okay, calm down. Um, okay, so this is Alice, level 99 Fiend. And she, um, yeah, she, uh, she's a thing. <laughs> She resists everything in the game, except for Hieroglyph, so I'm going to try and take advantage of it. Um, Luna Trap's great here, she likes to run away. And yeah, I'm just gonna hit her as hard as I can, until Rohan gets his um, armor draw up. I see that, she doesn't take anything. Let's see this armor draw up. There's my Rocky Dine. Let's see if I can get the Luna Trap off before um, she escapes. Anyway, X6. She attacked, that's good. And she missed. But yeah, if you want to make her appear, she's a very, very rare character. 
I think this is the best place to find her, the Mikadi Rats. Because, yeah, she can appear like in earlier dungeons too. Um, but yeah, now I can go for Haraglyph and destroy her. Because, yeah, I used Lunar Trap, she can't escape anymore. And I might just have that tricky piece of gun just in case. But yeah, she has 9 or 992, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can check her out. Yeah, she does. So, once you get the Haraglyph on after this, Uh, not quite. She's very close though. But yeah, she can start appearing as soon as the Deva Yuga, but yeah, she's a very, very rare income. And you're probably not able to kill her until um, you get Mira. And there she goes. And she even dropped the Pagan Idol. Dang. <laughs> and yeah, Maki and Mark get Persona levels done. So the Pagan Idol. Okay, I wasn't expecting to do that. Hmm. The, okay, there's the problem though. I can't really... I wish I could show what the, what the Pagan Idol does. But the problem is, is that Reiji needs to be 77, so yeah, I can't show it. But yeah, the Pagan Idol. It can drop from Alice, and if you are lucky enough to get it, you can fuse Beelzebub. And Beelzebub is great in this game. Like he usually is. He's a... He's a devil persona, he gets crystal wall at rank 4. Here's another Fenrir. My stomach wall, okay. And yeah, I should <laughs> I should go into Pokemon Dog. Um say so Meraki Dine, Zio Dine, okay. Say so Batok Batoka. He also has Mamudo, he's a persona! great persona. Um deals with them. and yeah, you can get a Zan Dine on him thanks to the fact that he's a fiend, not fiend. Um, Devil Persona. Because yeah, you can use Zombie Painter. There you go, he got the Zonda. Hey, like I said, he's really good. Great Persona for me. And it's like this is Max Rank good. That means that Nanjo doesn't have a Persona to use. That's needs leveling up. You can tell I'm a bit flustered, but yeah, I guess I can see the stats of all of his Personas. I think the best thing to do is use um, Yamaoka because Yamaoka is Makoha. That's amazing. And yeah, I have Genbu for the boss. So yeah, let's have him use Yamaoka. I guess I can show Alice's stats because she's a rare encounter. I wonder though how rare. Because I, okay, I'm very familiar with low encounter themes because of a good friend of mine. But anyway, as you see here, strong against everything. She is basically equivalent to the full demon race. And she can fight you, but yeah, she actually doesn't have anything offensive. She's just there to sit there, take hits, and then run away if you're unable to kill her. And she doesn't have a spell card. You can't communicate with fiends, so... No need to worry about that. Anyway, let me see. So yeah, just use this. Okay, this has been kind of a toxic turvy part so far, but anyway. Oh, we got here. Did I? No, I didn't. So, yeah, let's, uh, this is why Mark Call is great, because now I can use Bright Judgment and Mark, and then, um, I don't have Garodine. I wish I could, though. I guess I use, no, I just record that. Uh, so yeah, let's use Mark Call so I can kill the Adrama Luck. That's the idea. Let's see what it's called. Here it goes! But yeah, I'm not so sure how quickly you can kill that Adrama Lex, so yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe. Because yeah, it reflects your um, magic attacks, which isn't good. Unless you have light based, of course. And there's my cool. And yeah, these things aren't weak to it. They're weak to light like, all other kinds of magic posts, so. Anyway, good. And sure, that's good. So yeah, now we can just beat them up. So yeah, I'll just give them my charge maker. So yeah, uh, I guess I can talk about Alice as well, a little bit. So yeah, Alice is normally a fiend in um, SMT. I think um, I think she was a fiend in SMT5 at least. So yeah, it's kind of a common thing for her, I guess. And I think she was also one of the low encounter fiends in um, 
some of the earlier SMT guns like SMT2. They are... I'm not so sure how low her encounter rate is. I think it's lower than 1%. So yeah, very rare. But yeah, considering how many random cars I've gone through, I guess it makes sense that she'd appear at some point. Um, I believe her design's also her old design, where she has two um, dolls with her. Those represent two characters that are important to her in um, SMT1. Basically a foster parent. And yeah, her foster parents are also what she is a special fusion mode in some games. Aka, you need, like for example, some of my Um In that game, you need to use her with Belial and Nebros. And then you get Alice. Although Alice is an ultimate person in that game, so you need to finish the... <laughs> confident that she's a bard, which should be pretty obvious if that would be me. We also got Booklet to max rank. Now I'm going to start using Satan because Satan's good. <laughs> that's the, that's going to be one of the... Actually, no. I shouldn't say that. That's only one of the few times Satan's good because yeah, Satan's one of the most powerful demons in the series, so... As you accept, this room's annoying. I can see why my friend says good luck to you with because of this place. Because yeah, he's been for this place, I think. And yeah, he tells me that this place is garbage. From what I can tell. Let's look at the map. There's... Okay, so there's a staircase there, so let's go that way. And it will lead us to base play. I really should <laughs> be looking at my map more carefully, huh? But anyway. And yeah, I'm actually still kind of surprised I'm not high enough level to get Fenrir. I guess, yeah. That goes to Shopei, anyway, mate. We're on base at floor 8 now. This is new, right? This is part of the new section? Let me double check. It is actually. But anyway, we have three levers that we need to press. They're completely reused from the, um, <laughs> uh, Devil Yuka. I don't know how I feel about that, but anyway. And now we can go down here. We're on base at floor 9. I mean, it jumped on a hole, it says. Oh, that's a... That's a thing. Hey, okay, base at floor 10. Can't go there. Base up for 11. I wonder what I'm doing here. Okay, so we need to explore. So basically, we need to solve a puzzle here and then we can progress, basically. So yeah, let's go back to base up for 8 and let's do this. So, yeah. oh, we've already got here. Fafnir, alright. So yeah, let's use Bright Judgment with uh, Satan. Maragi Dine. Zondine, Rocky Dine, and the Zeta. Here goes! So let's do it. And that's what's sick. It's like, oh my god, he looks so cool. <laughs> Good. Because, yeah, uh, I was using just the skip animation part for all my grinds. So I haven't actually seen what he looks like. And dang, he looks so cool. He looks like some, like, dinosaur. But anyway, there's another switch here. So I'm gonna press it. And that opens up another path. Oh god, yeah. You know what, because yeah, the um, I doubt my stone is going to do anything anymore, so yeah, why not? I'm just going to not turn it on again. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to just do this. If it's just going to be Fafnir's and Fenrir's, I can just hit auto and then they'll just die, so that's good. Anyway, I level up, so I'm 88 now, that's good. So I'm going to increase my luck more, I'm going to increase my time. So yeah, let's see. So I need to find another switch, so I can't go that way. This is definitely quite a nuisance to explore. And yeah, the random cars are probably not up in the thing, right? Oh yeah, I can just repeat this. Because yeah, these things are all lead to... Okay, he's not lead to magic, but he takes a lot from it, so yeah. He's gonna die quick. Here goes! He's gonna hand with his... Satan. And there you go. This is in a weird part so far. Oh, that was a damaging fall. Okay. I didn't notice it though. Maybe I should get up those core shields though. But anyway. 
Uh, the Mia Sudokuro is kind of dangerous because it has crystals, so yeah, I'll be <clears throat> a bit careful. And I don't want to go for the sound skills here, so I can go for the Because the Hearst Vulcan. And we can do that. Alex, like, so I am a bit scared of because yeah, they have crystal and then all my attacks are so They won't kill me though because this isn't the PS1 version where I fight damage does a lot more so yeah. Yeah, let me get a, um, lift doma. Thanks to Zaku. Just in case there's, like, some damaging floor that I'm not sure. Okay, so there's a switcher. There's the grimy gun. But yeah, I got the spell cards, that's good. Yeah, I'll go for the sun down here, it's better. And then we just, you know, keep bashing up. Persona! And that would be it. And yeah, cool thing about Rohan using Bright Children, it doesn't completely nuke the field, so then other people can do things, although that other plus is where I can bump it. But yeah, like I said before, the Grimy is there, kind of resilient, but yeah, it's gonna maybe be Rohan, Maki, and actually Nadge as well. I was actually Nadge to get really high level, but he did. I guess it's because of Yamoka. But anyway, here's the last switch on this floor. So now, I need to go southeast and fall into a floor to get to base of floor. Will it be on my map now? The answer is... maybe? It said selfie, so... Uh, yeah, if you could tell I'm kind of using a guide, it's not telling you exactly where to go, it's just telling you what I need to do. So yeah, I'm cheating a little bit well, though. <laughs> okay, I'm doing something for the first time. Um, also, I read it before too, so... I was spoiling myself anyway. But yeah. Doing this for the first time is a bit scary for me, so yeah. Having a few other tips here and there might be useful. Let me do that. We got the olive necklace, good. So I can fuse, um... Um... Palace of Fino, please. Oh, we got here. A drama like This is annoying in coming, so yeah, let's go for Bright Children. Let's go for a regular attack. Let's go for a Makoha. Let's go for a regular attack, and let's go for the cover. So there we go. Yep. Gotta say though, Satan is doing a great job, I'm glad I fused him. He's like, like I, I don't know if I missed this yet, but he's like a better Janus. A higher level Janus, I should be saying. And yeah, Janus is really good early on, so yeah. Also, Maki can also use Satan too, which is pretty cool. So let's see. Where can I go, I wonder? Maybe I need to go this way. Maybe. Ah, <clears throat> oh, this is kind of good. So, yeah. <laughs> Pride Judgment. Yeah, these enemies are definitely coming strong. Luckily, Rohan and Nanjo are doing great for us here, so. I guess I can go for Heavenly Hurt. It's more SP. Not SP, um, rank. I could go for a stars, but I don't really feel like it's something like this. Spirit on the Andromedic. I could drop the daily meal on the Andromedic. I don't think I. Actually, I think I got one. So, no problem. Not. I feel like. I have thoughts on these enemies stripping for anything. The drop rate for the turns does seem a little low, so you do need to fight them. Anyway. anyway. To be honest with the two of them, I probably should just go all in with their attacks and don't care if they get reflected because they're going lost anyway, most likely. Man, I can just go for the Rocky Dine. Uh, I don't need to. Actually, I'll go for Mark Hold on. Technically, I don't need to. We also have Mickey Dillon now at the same time, which is great. I'm using him instead of um, Susanoo because Susanoo is max strength. So, yeah. Everyone else has the ultimate so. So yeah, there's that. So let's see what we got. But yeah, the Dandies might only heal it though, which I don't know how to feel about that, but uh, we'll make it work. So... Okay, so let's go this way. Oh, okay. So I drop down here? Yeah, there we go. So we're now on base of full 9. We need to pull a lever. Oh, this. 
this place. I can see why my friend despises this place. This place is annoying. And yeah, this is my first time doing it too. So yeah, we now need to figure this puzzle out. I wish I'll turn protect against these, but I guess that would defeat the purpose of the puzzle, right? Ah, I see what the puzzle is now. It's very annoying. Actually, can I go here? I hope. Can't go there. Okay, okay, that just, you know, does that. Yeah, I can't do anything though. So instead, let's... Yeah, it just looks like I'm fumbling around, but yeah. Can't go there. Goodness. Um, okay. Because yeah, the the issue I'm having here is um yeah, I think what I need to do I need to drop down a specific hole. But yeah, the game's not gonna tell you what it is though, so I should use a stone more here to be honest, because yeah, this place is annoying. <laughs> You know, let's do it. Uh, the Mikage Reds. <laughs> My friend did warn me that this place would be annoying, and he was not wrong. <laughs> yeah, clean salt. Look at that scene. So we need to... Okay, I can't go there. Okay, go here. Okay, so we're back here now. I need to choose a different hole. Let's go this one. Uh... No. That was the wrong one. I need to go for the last one. That we um, haven't used yet. So the dome is worn off, I'm going to use it again. Just in case. Uh, I don't think that's what we need to do. Instead we need to use this, maybe some other pitfalls. Maybe this one. Uh, no, that one didn't really help. So how about the one near the start? I already got Fenrir. All right. I think I can just auto kill him. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, this puzzle is definitely quite nice. Um, here. Let's see. Because, yeah, like I said, the guide I'm using, it doesn't tell me exactly what to do, so. And yeah, that didn't do anything either, it looked like. Unless. No, I don't think we can. So, yeah, I need to find a different way to do this. So, let's see what I got. I can go this way. And now we have two options. Let's try this one. This is new. Um, okay. So now we hit this. Um, one way trap floor now. So, where could that be? Is it this room? Maybe not. I don't think it's in this room. So let's go back to um um let's go back up. See if there's any path yet. Which maybe. This is new. There's another switch here. So you're going up to that. What we got here? Uh, he wants to speak to me. I don't think I'm high enough level though. And also, um, yeah, my stuff will work. So anyway, I'm going to support her. And do that. Will you go for my call out this time? And they go. So yeah, Rohan Sprite shot at those, get a lot more. And they go. Excuse me. <laughs> well, 
Oh, we got here. Can you say that? <laughs> but yeah, I do need to concentrate a little bit because yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. And yeah, it would help that if I had a... Uh, if I concentrate a little bit, so yeah, that's why I'm not speaking that much. Yeah, this place is very... Yeah, this place does give me vibes of like... The Chrono Trigger post game that was in the DS version, which no like. This is giving off a simple vibe, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now I can go down here. To a healing place, that's good. I don't need need that yet, so I'm going to wait. So we're on base on floor 9 now. With retain platforms. <laughs> and, okay, yeah, I should put back up this one. See, let's do that. Part of this. Well, there, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna run to a lot of Fenrir's because they're higher level than me, so yeah. So yeah, let's just you know, use the clean soul gun. So we're on a different floor now, that's cool, I guess. Um, so yeah, these um twisty platforms. Alright, the thumb has worn off. We can't go that way. I'll use it again because I'm scared. That way. Can go this way though. Okay, so now we have. Oh god. <laughs> what is this? What am I even looking at? Hmm, <laughs> okay. Yeah, if only left dome and protect you against these trap floors. If only. Can't go there. Goodness gracious. <laughs> um, okay, this doesn't look too bad, unless it is. I should walk very slowly. This encounter, I don't have a stone. Um, yeah, I can. Can I do the same thing as last time? Oh. Here goes. Come on, Frank Chuchun. There you go. Persona. And his Bragi died. That will kill the um, press Falcon. There you go. Persona. And now the Sun Dime will kill the um, Mia Super. Yeah, I don't even want to think about the boss, I just want to focus on this puzzle. <laughs> so, okay, so now I can go down here. To base of floor 10. For a save point, thank goodness. I will make use of this. Can we go to base of floor 11? Or do we need to do something else? So the thermal war off? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, dear me. I think this is run mode. Because of how these floors are designed. Yeah, this just looks like a so, let's go back to base of Fulton. I'm pretty sure we need to do something there first. So, let's go up, run to another random encounter. This one, because the, uh, <laughs> my, um, Mr. Warrock. Let's 
go for Bright Judgment. It hits both of those, which is really good. I'll go for a regular attack. I'll go for Mark Koha. I'll go for a Heavenly Hit. And we'll go for that. So let's see what we can do. There we go. I probably should have done it the other way, because now Mark's not useless, but it's okay. There's some damage. So I can just get healthy here. There's a cannon voice. I don't think those Paimons can do while I was grinding. They can self destruct. So you need to be a little careful now. If you are, you'll be fine. They normally self destruct when it's the last enemy left. From what I can tell as well. I think this will do good. There you go. Well done, Angel. So yeah, I've had to base the full turn, we have another puzzle to deal with. I'm also going to... Go... Use my clean salt. So I'm base the full turn now, so yeah, let's go here. All the writing is graven on the wall. Henceforth, go the way you believe answers the given question, and the path shall be open. The three wise monkeys are famous of Buddhism, but where is the Buddhist god Simon Konga worship? Head right of his Japan, left of his Chinese. It's right. And there we go. So now we have a quiz. In Hinduism, the Ganges River is thought to be made from tears that Shiva shed. Which are... Oh, that's a typo. Which eye were they shed from? Left eye or right eye? I really should ask my parents for help with this. Because they probably know the answer to that. I don't, unfortunately. Uh, right eye, I'm gonna say. Yep, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, so that's the gimmick. So it was the left eye, apparently. Interesting puzzle, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> anyway, lift them a war off, lift them back on. So yeah, let's see. So yeah. So at least the question doesn't reset, so that means that yeah, if you get it wrong, um, you just do the right answer. So yeah, it's the left eye apparently. What have we got here? Before the Archangel Lucifer Christianity fell, which side of God did he sit at? Head right was the right side, left was the right. Left side. I have no idea, but I'm gonna say it's right. Uh. God Tyr Norsmith had a hand bitten off by Fenrir. Which of his hands was spared? His right hand. So let's go this way. Thank you for doing my research. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it was the left hand. So that's what base four levels use, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, uh, let me imagine that artwork of him from that from the bio I used. I guess it was the left. Yeah, it was. No, what? <laughs> for some reason, for some reason, I thought it was his right hand. I guess it's that, like you know. I wasn't. I guess I was looking at it from my perspective, not tears in the artwork. So yeah. Like even the tear in this game, it's the left hand. So. Yeah, I really should have knew that, but now I look very dumb that anyway. <laughs> I also look dumb that I didn't know the thing about the root Ganges, but it's okay. You know, it would have been funny if I, like, what I did was, I went, I, like, cut to after I asked my parents the right answer, and I could say, hey, my parents helped me. <laughs> But nah, I don't that good at editing it. Except like very well, I very well could have done that. This is a weird part, like really weird. 
Like I'm playing, we're doing the SMT quiz, except it's not a Persona game. Actually, it is a Persona game. <laughs> there was a quiz in um, Persona 4, I'm pretty sure. It was not part of the main game. It was like in one of the. It's one like the bonus things. It's in Golden, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if it's in the original. But yeah, I remember seeing a video about that. That was funny. This is. For dungeon exploration, so it's very different. I really should be using Wicked Door, it's better. And uh, the fourth place I can do this. Also, if you're wondering, this is his old design, I'm pretty sure. He gets a new design of Soul Hackers, which looks really, really, really good. And he also used that design in Persona Hacker, which may be happy. Anyway. But yeah, I have my map now, so I know that I need to go this way. There's the left eye. And then here, it's the right side of God. This encounter, okay, this is a weak encounter <laughs> the, compared to what we normally get. I guess there's a good time to use Garudine because of the uh, Aztec fire God. Though. Oh, yeah, I don't want to use Megador. Oh, that's another thing, too. Oh, wait, my attacks. <laughs> Yeah, let's just say that, yeah, you're very bad, well, not very well equipped for this, are you not? Anyway. So here's one thing that kind of bothers me, some people say that Becky Dolan in this game, maybe all the Becky Dolan skills, I'm not so sure, they pierce resistances, they do not. I tested it, and yeah, it doesn't do that. It gets reflected if the enemy reflects you, so... And yeah, for some reason people think that's the case. I don't know why, but anyway. So yeah, we know that the answer to this one is the left hand. Unless I completely read the question wrong. Alright, we got a fed <laughs> to mock me, I guess. Anyway, Magaro died, the Zan died, make it Dola, and the Zan died. Alright, for a one shot again because that's what it is. <laughs> Can't do that against the fight, so you have to do later. But well. So anyway, let's see here. I need both my lift armor and my astroma back. And yeah, no matter what I do, do not hit them with just the exit pod. Otherwise, I'm gonna be. Otherwise, I'm gonna ruin everything. Yeah, lift armor. But yeah, this really just feels like those farm fantasy games. Like, yeah, I consider Chrono Trigger kind of a Final Fantasy game. It plays a little bit like one, so... Because it also kind of reminds me of the Dragon's Den in Final Fantasy VI. That was a bonus dungeon added to the, uh, um, GBA version. He actually went first, but <laughs> Rohat <laughs> Roha would say it was quite the impossible force. And there we go. This way, and there we go. Okay, Janice is said to be the Roman god of gates and doors. What month does he represent? November, January, or March? Okay, what's here? Okay, so this is the last question, I assume. <laughs> Maybe I should look this up because this is annoying me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what people think about Janus. Uh, let's see. So let's do this. This is gonna be annoying. <laughs> so Janus. I guess you're getting get some information here now. It looks really weird at its old design, but anyway. Um, it's from Roman mythology. Was the god of gates, choices, doors, doorways, beginnings, and endings. He is sometimes treated as a minor deity. He is most often depicted as having two faces or two heads, facing in opposite directions. Janus is well respected and highly regarded as a god by the Romans, and so his steel faced image could be found on many things, ranging from city gates and Roman coins. Uh, he 
preside over the beginning and ending of conflict that has war and peace. The doors of his temple were open in times of war and closed to mark the peace. As God's nutrition, he had functions pertaining to birth and journeys in exchange, association with Portina, simple similar harbour gateway gods is because they were travelling, trading, shipping. Um Oh, here we go. Its most prominent remnant in modern culture is his namesake, the month of January. Ah, oh, okay. That's why he's called Shadows. So we need to go straight if it's January. That makes a lot of sense. I know that there's some things that are named after... Some months are named after certain beauties. I can't remember all of them, so... Say, where do I need to go? Uh, this way? Yeah. Base of floor 11, that's good. A velvet room, awesome. So I can take up the stones if I need be. But yeah, I would. F I guess I could fuse Beals above. Old Ryan is gripping the door. Now you might be. <laughs> it's something funny. You don't need to listen to this. If you have Liftoma, you just ignore it. So. I guess technically, too, you could just. Um, brute force the damage, but I think the damage is a lot, so maybe you can't. But yeah, Liftoma cheeses this puzzle. So for once, we could cheese a puzzle with something. And we're here. This is base of Voltorb, the last one. So. Let's. Um, guide again. So yeah, let's have a look at this room. So yeah, there's um... You can't go in there, yeah. That's the final battle. But, yeah, all these are battles, basically. But, yeah, let's uh... But, yeah, the good thing is you can check them and then leave. Because yeah, I believe there's some stuff here. Actually, maybe not, because there is, um, the staircases. I believe we can maybe use those to get hit quicker. But yeah, I'm not going to be doing any of these battles yet. That'll be in the next episode, obviously. But yeah, there's no random counts in this place, it's just, um... This. But yeah, that also means, yeah, yeah. If there are no random counts, like, I think... If what I'm seeing is the case, then yeah, that means that I can just heal by running around. Or just use Chewing Salt, because you know, that's probably smart. But anyway, let's see. I'm gonna go back over here, because I would like to save... Actually, you can save here, I think. Yeah, you can. So this is where they are. So yeah, this is where I'll end the episode. <laughs> it's been an interesting one, alright. What's here? A velvet room, awesome. So yeah, everything's so. I think. I can also use Trish to heal myself as well, while I'm here. And she charges 1 million yen, well... <laughs> middle finger her, basically. 8,000, fine. So, there we go. I'm all healed up. We definitely don't want to go that way. Alright, so I'm going to go save. And then, yeah, next time we're going to be starting the um, Trials and Tribulations. Basically, yeah, we have some super boss to fight. Well, kind of. I don't know if you consider them super boss or not, but yeah. We need to kill them, and then we will be able to um, unlock the final battle of this game. So yeah, I'm going to be starting those next parts. So I'll see you guys again for that.